hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel make pm uh, in today's video we will solve a problem based on the reverted gear train uh, reverted gear so a train is shown in the figure is used to provide a speed ratio of 10 so a speed ratio is given here uh, n1 by n4 is given as 10 okay this is equation 1 the module of the gear 1 and 2 is 3.24 so for these two gears 1 and 2 m12 is 3.2 mm and for gear 3 and 4 is 2 mm so m34 is 2 mm because the module for the matching gear should be same so it is given like that and determine the suitable number of teeth for each gear no gear is to have less than 20 seat so t should be greater than 20 okay the center distance between the shaft is 160 mm so this distance is 160 mm so you can see that number of teeth of the gears are not given so we have to assume things to design this gearbox so let's uh, start suppose uh, we will consider these two gears as one pair and these two as second pair so for gear 1 2 we will consider speed ratio n1 by n2 is equal to 2 and we consider n n3 by n4 is equal to 5 so that we can get it close to 10 okay so if we consider n1 by n2 is equal to 2 then n1 by n2 is equal to t2 by t1 is equal to 2 or t2 is equal to 2 t1 this is equation number 2 and similarly we can say that n3 by n4 is equal to t4 by t3 is equal to 5 so we will get t4 is equal to 5t3 this is equation number 3 now you can see that center distance between these uh, gears are given between the soft axis so you can see that 160 mm is equal to this plus this and this distance plus this distance it means it is equal to this is r1 radius of gear 1 p circle radius r2 and this is r3 and this is r4 so we can write it like this sorry So you can see that R1 plus R2 is equal to 160 mm and R3 plus R4 will also be equal to 160 mm. Now you know that our radius is equal to sorry module is equal to diameter but so diameter divided by number of teeth so diameter is equal to module into number of teeth so radius will be equal to diameter by 2 is equal to m t by 2 so from here we can write r1 is equal to m t1 divided by 2 plus m t2 divided by 2 is equal to 160 mm or we can write m t1 plus t2 is equal to 160 into 2 m for gear number 1 and 2 is given as we have written already 3.2 mm so 3.2 t1 plus t2 is equal to 320 
so we can write t1 plus t2 is equal to 320 divided by 3.2 which is equal to 100 so t1 plus t2 is equal to 100 now this is equation number 3 suppose sorry 4 similarly here we can also write that m t3 divided by 2 plus m t4 divided by 2 is equal to 160 so, uh, here m is 2 mm so 2 into t3 plus t4 is equal to 160 into 2 so this 2 will be cancelled so t3 plus t4 is equal to 160 okay so this is equation number 5 now we have already calculated that from equation number 2 you can see that t2 is equal to 2t1 so put this here t1 plus 2t1 is equal to 100 so 3t1 is equal to 100 so t1 is equal to 100 divided by 3 which is equal to 33.33 so t2 will be equal to uh, if we consider it 33 only then t2 will be 100 minus 33 is equal to 67 because the number of gears cannot be in decimal so this is 33 this is 67 similarly here we have calculated that t4 is equal to 5t3 so t4 is equal to 5t3 so t3 plus 5t3 is equal to 160 so 6t3 is equal to 160 so t3 will be 160 divided by 6 which will be equal to 2.66 sorry 26.66 so if we consider it 27 then t4 will be equal to 5t3 which will be equal to 5 into 27 or we can also write that t3 plus t4 is equal to 160 so t4 is 160 minus 27 which will be equal to 133 so we have calculated all the teeths number of teeth t1 is equal to 33 t2 is equal to 67 t3 is equal to 27 and t4 is equal to 133 we have already calculated the number of teeths in all four years so what will the what will be the actual speed ratio so it will be equal to t2 into t4 t2 into t4 divided by t1 into t3 which will be equal to this is the formula for compound gear so this will be equal to t2 is 67 into 133 divided by 33 into 27 which will be equal to approximately 10 so this was given in the problem that uh, minimum teeth should be 20 so all the teeth are um, more than 20 and speed ratio should be almost equal to 10 so which is true in our case so i hope you understand how to solve this problem and thanks for watching this video i hope you subscribe to my channel now if you are wondering that how we do, did we got t2 into t4 upon t1 into t3 then let's see n2 by n1 is equal to t1 by t2 because these two gears are uh, messing with each other and t n3 
divided by sorry n4 divided by n3 is equal to t3 divided by t4 but you can see that from here this gear n3 and n2 uh, gear 3 and gear 2 are mounted on the same, same shaft so if this shaft will rotate then these two gears will rotate with the same speed of the shaft these two gears are mounted on different shaft but these are on same shaft so n2 and n3 will be same so you can write here n4 upon in place of n3 you can write n2 because n2 is equal to n3 so n4 upon n2 is equal to t3 by t4 so n2 by n1 here from here and n4 upon n2 is equal to t1 upon t2 into t3 upon t4 so you can say that n2 will be cancelled so n4 upon n1 will be t1 t3 divided by t2 t4 but speed ratio is n1 this is velocity ratio speed ratio will be n1 upon n4 is equal to t2 into t4 divided by t1 into t3 so i hope you understand this problem thanks for watching